Barry, Barry, have you cleaned the back storage area yet? No, yeah, Ma. Well, you better jump on it soon. Your father will be home in two days, and you know how he feels about a messy storage area. I can't wait for Dad to get home. Can't, can't he just get here today? Now, sweetheart, traveling takes time. I, I know, but, but I want him here now. He'll get here when he gets here. Two days isn't that long. Besides, if I were you, I'd be glad that I had that extra time to clean the storage room. All right, I'll, I'll clean it, Mom, I promise. Then hop to it. Yes, Ma. Well, howdy ho, y'all. It's me, Mel with the Marvelous Moose Mel Man. Oh, Mel. You got any mail for us today, or are you just stopping by to say hi? Well, uh, let's let's see what I got in here. All right. Well, for the Orcas, we have this month's issue of Wailing Around Town. I said Wailing Around Town. Oh, you won't get it. Uh, a letter from your Aunt Petunia and a letter from your husband, Bruce. Brucey should be on his way home by now. I wonder why he's sending a letter. Barry, we got a letter from your father. I'll be there in a minute. What would that say? Let's see. Hey, Jules, I hope everything is going well at the shop. I'm sorry negotiations are taking longer, but I've been a delayed another two weeks. I won't be home until September. I know you and Barry miss me, and I miss you too very much. I promise I won't let them delay again, but they're, they're throwing in some really exotic merchandise that I just couldn't say no to. I'll see you both in September. I love you and very, very apologetic. Bruce. Uh, really sorry to hear about that, Julia. I, but at least you guys are getting some really cool new merchandise. That'll be cool. Well, it better be some good merchandise to delay him another two weeks. What? Mom, if Dad hasn't come back yet, how, how is he going to see me play hockey? They finally let me on the hockey team, Mom. I, I, I get to be a goalie. Well, I'll, I'll, he'll just have to see you in two weeks when he gets back. By that time, hockey season be over. Oh, nonsense, Bear. Hockey season goes year-round here. Everything is frozen. It'll just be starting for most people. But Dad didn't say... But didn't he say he, he won't be back in time? Why don't you go finish cleaning the storage room? No, but what's it matter if he's not going to be back here in two weeks anyway? Well, uh, I'll leave you guys to it. Have a nice day. You too, Mel. Knock, knock. Hello? Is, is anyone here? Hello? Over here, Hank. Hmm? Oh, 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 yes. There you are. You see, Aaron and I just stopped in for a weekly order. Yeah, Mr. Hank wanted to show me how it works so I mean I can do it by myself next time. Well, isn't that lovely? I'll just call Barry to bring it over. Barry, do you have Hank Barrington's order? I haven't prepped it yet. Well, get it ready and bring it over here. He's here to pick it up. You can do it yourself. Excuse me, mister? Yes, ma'am. That's what I thought. Pardon Barry's behavior. We got a letter today saying Bruce won't be back for another two weeks. And he's a little discouraged. Poor kid. No worries, Miss Julie. I understand. I'd be pretty upset, too, if my dad was gone for that long. Hmm. Hasn't he been gone for over a month now? Round about, yeah. Barry's all broken up about it. But that doesn't excuse him back sassing his mom or the customer. My apologies for your late order. No problem at all. Here's the order, Ma. Well, it certainly took you long enough. Well, it would have been done on time if they hadn't come in early. What was that? Nothing. Here. He Here, I'll, I'll take that from Barry. Sorry to hear about your dad, Barry. It's fine. This will give us more time to practice the hockey anyways. I bet by the time he gets here, you'll be the best player on the team. Just leave me alone, Aaron. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I just, just wanted to try and cheer you up. Just, just get out of here. Well, we must be getting on our way back to the diner before the lunch rush. Of course. See you around, Hank and Aaron. I'll, uh, I'll see you at hockey tonight. Yeah, Barry? Whatever. What was that, sir? What? You just back-talked a customer. Not to mention you were very mean to one of your friends. Ah, uh, he had it coming. 
As far as I could see, he was being incredibly nice to you. Now, I don't know what has gotten into you today, but you need to check your attitude, mister, and get it together before the customers get in here. Whatever. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Well, if it isn't Walter and Noel Barrington, how are you two doing today? Wonderful. Thank you for asking. We're doing just fine, Julia. And how are you? I could be better. Bruce got delayed again, so it'll be just me and Barry for a little while longer. But other than that, I can't complain. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully business will go much faster than expected, and he'll be here before you know it. That's a nice thought. What can I do for you today? Well, I was supposed to wake up salmon earlier today, but I was reading this book, and I got so enveloped in it. You see, it's about different whale species, and, well, here we are. But lucky for you, we never run low on salmon. Say, uh, Walter, you said you were reading a book on whale species? That I was, yes. If I go grab your salmon and send Barry up here, would you mind telling him about it? This whole delay thing is hitting him pretty hard, and I think I think he could use the distraction. Not to mention, I'm sure it would be pretty fun for him to learn about his culture. I would love discussing the books I'm reading. I would not mind at all, no. Go ahead and get them. Wonderful. I'll send them right up here. How far did you manage to get in that book? Oh, I nearly finished it. Oh my. We'll be here all night then. Ma said you wanted to talk to me? Yes, Barry! It's great to see you! You see, I was just reading this book about whales. You might be interested in it. Not interested. But wait, it's truly fascinating. Did you know that whales can be broken into two different categories? Baleen whales and toothed whales. You see, baleen whales have fibrous plates in their mouth, where teeth would be. Their fibrous plates are known as baleen, and they filter out krill and plankton from the water. You see, they need that to eat and to get nutrients from it. Where on the toothed whales, on the other hand, can consume any fish they like. Like, just like any other mammal, does they have teeth to gnaw, gnash, and bite into things with. Yes, I know. Dad told me about this when I was like five. He and Mom are tooth whales. Well, and I. Uncle, um, uh, what's his name? Uncle Scott from Iceland. You see, he's a baleen whale, but we really don't talk about him. Did you know the largest toothed whale is actually the sperm whale? And due to their size, they can eat a whole shark and even giant squid if they wanted to. Yeah, and the largest baleen whale is the blue whale. And his size doesn't matter to his diet because baleen whales can only filter out feed. I see. Well, what about... If it's a fact about a whale, I already know it. Dad taught me about uh, when I, my culture when I was very young. So there's nothing you can really tell me that I don't already know. Barry, are you, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you miss your father? No, I don't miss him. He's late as usual. I should have expected him. Leave me alone. Here we are with your salmon. Where... Where are you going, Care Bear? I'm going to clean the storage room. Oh, dear. I hope you didn't... He didn't give you any trouble. Here's your order. I'm sorry about his behavior. It's not a problem. Maybe I should stop asking him about whales. Good afternoon, Orca family. Yes, it is I, the mayor. Mayor Lenny, how are you doing today? We're actually quite well. Ooh, yes, Lenny. Oh, I like the sound of that. That's it's quite amusing. Yes, Lenny. Oh, no. He's rambling about nonsense again. Barry! Why, well, I, I didn't think it was nonsense. I thought it was, it was quite relevant to the conversation. Oh, oh, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Oh. Yep. My apologies, Mayor. What can I help you with today? Oh, no problem, Julia. I was just stopping by for my local business check-ins. You know, to see if you guys need any government support. Not today, thank you. Why does he always do this? No one needs any help. He's just wasting everyone's time. That is not true. Why, just last week, Chase needed my opinion. Why, what is your job anyways? It's not like the town needs you. Barry, that is quite enough. Well, well, you see, well, I, I, well, um, this town would be just fine without your extravagant parties and festivals. If anything, you're wasting town's resources. That's it, mister. Go to your room. Oh, oh my. What am I doing? My sincerest apologies, sir. I don't know what's gotten in here to him today. No, he's right. What have I done? I'm running this town to the ground. No, sir, you're doing a wonderful job. I'm destroying our economy in a vain attempt to boost tourism. Sir, I don't think... I must call Jane immediately! She knows how to right these egregious wrongs! Wait, Mr. Mayor, please! Jane! Jane doesn't need your assistance! I'm a monster that must be stopped! Hey? Care Bear? You alright in here? Leave me alone. Aw, oh, come on, Barry Boo. I just want to chat. I don't want to talk about it. 
Can't I hang out with my favorite porpoise? Fine. What's gotten you all riled up, son? How come everyone else gets to see their dad all the time? And every time mine gets close to coming home, something comes up. I know, sweetheart. I miss him too. And it's hard. But just because you're disappointed doesn't mean you can take your frustrations out on other people. But it's not fair. Fair doesn't always mean everyone gets the exact same thing, baby. We all go through different challenges in life and different rough patches. Remember last summer when Aaron broke his leg playing hockey? Yeah. He let me sign his cast in four different places. I imagine that had to be a pretty tough time for him. But we all did everything we could to help him through it. I and it, in return, he didn't lash out at us. I guess so. And at the end of the few months, the cast came off, and he was back on his feet and to his old self. Yeah. He played in the championship game after that. So you see, just because life's difficult now, doesn't mean it won't get better. I just wish it didn't have to be difficult. Life is unpredictable sometimes, and you can't control it. But you know what you can control? How you treat other people. You're right, Ma. I should have been so mean to everyone. I'm sorry I talked back to you. It's all right, sweetie. I forgive you. And I'm sure everyone else will, too, if you just apologize. Can you help me write some apology letters? Sure thing, buddy. Let's start with the mayor. He seems to be in quite the tizzy when he left. 